Paradise Papers expect to hear those words a lot over the next few days. It refers to a massive trove, millions of documents that are currently being sifted through by journalists around the globe. And it's all about tax havens for the ultra rich. And just one headline that's coming from that, I want to pull something up from the New York Times, refers to new ties that are being discovered between Donald Trump's Commerce Secretary and Putin. So this just one new wrinkle for the president this week. Another one coming from NBC News. A new development in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation coming from NBC News. NBC News has learned that special counsel Robert Mueller has enough evidence to bring charges in his investigation of former national security advisor Michael Flynn and his son. NBC citing multiple sources familiar with Mueller's probe, looking into a number of possible charges against Flynn, including lying to federal agents. Flynn served for less than a month as Trump's national security advisor. Before it was learned, he misrepresented his communications with the Russian diplomat to the vice president. Last week, details of the first charges in Mueller's investigation into suspected Russian meddling in the U.S. election were revealed, including the indictment of Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. We will never yield, never waver, and never falter in defense of our people, our freedom, and our great American flag. Trump speaking to U.S. and Japanese troops near Tokyo today as the president's five-nation Asian tour gets underway. Trump also playing golf with Japan's prime minister, the two looking to present a united front, including when it comes to North Korea. No dictator, no regime, and no nation should underestimate ever American resolve. And some damning numbers coming from ABC News and Washington Post. A new poll showing that only 37% of Americans approve of the job that Trump is doing, and that's just days before the first anniversary of his big election.